Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like down below. With WrestleMania happening tomorrow, I wanted to simulate the tag team match main event for night one. I was going to go through all the matches, but I figured that would take too long. This video alone will probably be like maybe 15-20 minutes, depending on how long that goes. Because it is on Legend Difficulty. Now, let's check this out. So we got Seth and Cody versus The Rock and Roman Reigns. There's a lot of ways that this match could end up. Then I downloaded from the Community Creations. The official XL Arena is not out yet. It's so weird not hearing the music, you know, because of copyright issues and stuff like that. But I also wanted to talk about who I think is going to win night one. And if some, and if a certain individual pins another individual, what that probably means for night two. All right. So to start off, let's let's say Cody Rhodes pins Roman Reigns. Now, if he pins Roman Reigns night one, clean pin, even after shenanigans, probably like with help of Seth and everybody else. There's no way in hell they're going to let him pin Roman in night two. The following contest is a tag team right? match set for one fall. Introducing first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. So wait a minute. He's only 220 pounds? He's a cruiserweight. He's, he's, he's a cruiserweight. He's not a heavyweight champion. Hmm. I know they kind of fudged that. Threw that out the window a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, for his uh, pec took tear. He kind of lost a lot of a mass in the last couple of years. Like, I should say last year, anyway. Feels like a couple of years. I think it's one of his best uh, jackets. Kind of looks like a One Piece jacket. Looks really, really cool. I wonder if he's a fan of One Piece. His jackets are really, really cool. And then Seth Rollins, man. He needs a new gimmick. I mean, I know that gimmick is still over with the crowd. But uh, I don't know. It's just... Where he's kind of weird. He needs to get serious again. We need serious Seth back. And I hope that happens if he loses to Drew. And I really think Drew should beat him because otherwise you've damaged Drew so much already and Drew's doing great. Anyway, as I was saying, I feel like if you have Drew lose at Mania, you're going to damage him like even more because he's lost quite a bit to Seth. I feel like it's time for him to beat Seth. And I do think, based on how night one goes for this match, uh, Drew might get some help from the bloodline. Like, if, let's say, Seth beats The Rock, or Cody beats The Rock, they're going to interfere in his match, I guarantee you, regardless of what happens. The bloodline is going to interfere in all matches that have anything to do with them. Like Jay's match, they're gonna interfere with Jay's match. Uh, I, it's gonna be all chaos. I kind of hope The Rock and Roman win night one, because if it's uh, bloodline rules, basically that's anything goes, right? So that means Jay could come out, Punk could come out, Seth could come out, anybody could come out and help Cody win the match. It's not just the bloodline. Unless they bar everybody else except the bloodline from the arena. I'm very curious how they're going to do that. And I was joking with my buddy. I was saying that The Rock's going to get injured in the first five minutes of the match. <laughs> After the lunch, just kind of hang out. Kind of like uh, Triple H did in Saudi Arabia when he was with Shawn Michaels. He convinced Shawn Michaels to go over there and do a match with him. And what was it? The first five minutes, he like tore his quad or something. And Shawn had to do the match by himself. Uh, I think that's funny. <laughs> it sucks, but I think it's funny. 
Yeah, I can see something like that happening. Where he gets hurt. And then Roman has to do the whole match. I don't know if they want him to beat Hogan's record. Roman. Because he's really close. So I think, like I said, if Cody pins Roman Reigns night one, then Roman's keeping that belt until he beats Hogan's record. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I don't want to be right. I want Cody to win. But, uh, but yeah. And then where do you go from there if Cody loses? Again. Like, you're going to have to, like, claw from the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. You're going to have to have him, like, like he said in an interview, if he loses, he might as well just do commentary. Have him do commentary. Have him be so, like, defeated mentally where he does commentary for a little bit. Let's say he rests for a little bit. And, he, and it's basically just... Hit, he hit rock bottom, no pun intended, and he's building himself back up to be a champion, right? And nobody else beats Roman, nobody else can beat him, blah, blah, blah. I think that's the only way to go if he loses. Because any promo he does, it's just not going to have the same weight if you lose to a guy two years in a row, regardless of shenanigans or not. It's just perception, you know? Man, his character model looks freaking amazing this year. <laughs> so many of the models, dude. And it's weird not having come out with Paul Heyman when he has a tag match. <laughs> and it's weird not having his music either. So I had to turn off the music. The bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! I also throw up commentary because it would be talking over me the whole time. <laughs> I might have to uh, skip this because we're already at like seven minutes. And we haven't even gotten in the ring yet. <laughs> Sometimes these matches go really fast because I think they fixed the tag match thing in the in the last what three games. Tag matches would go on forever if you try to have the AI by themselves or spectate a match. So let's see here. Oh, commercial during the champ. <laughs> All right. And then whoever created this arena, for some reason, whenever you do outdoor arenas, it's super dark. Ooh. See, I don't know how this is going to go. Like, the real show. Because with the rock there, it kind of reignited the bloodline. But I know the rock is supposedly leaving after Mania. So, if that's the case... Maybe, you know, maybe Cody wins. I, mean, I don't know, like, what do you do with Cody if he loses? But I feel like this is a transitional or pivotal, a pivotal moment for WWE and its growth in the future. I'm not saying if the Bloodline wins, it's, you know, oh, everybody's going to hate it. No, I think... Sorry, I got distracted. I think that uh, regardless of who wins, both nights, wrestling is, go is getting exciting again. With the Netflix deal, with everything going on, like The Rock just saying <laughs> F-bombs all over the place on social media, I can't wait for it to go to Netflix. It'll be like the Attitude Era dialed to 11. I can't wait to see what we get away with. It might be a little bit ECW stuff. You know, like hardcore stuff, because Cody's, he's no, uh, he's not shy to the hardcore stuff. He's going through flaming tables, getting whipped. Uh, I mean, he's had it pretty easy there in WWE, except for Brock Lesnar, of course. Brock kind of manhandling. <laughs> so if Cody wins, who should his first opponent be? 
I'm going to assume that Seth is losing to Drew McIntyre. So why not? He's like, I helped you and you owe me, right? So we get Seth versus Cody. But do you want Cody to beat Seth again? Because, right? I mean, are they going to have the belt on Cody for a year or are they going to have it on him for a month? Because once he, once he wins the belt, once he defeats Roman Reigns, or if he defeats Roman Reigns, that solidifies his championship forever. It doesn't matter if he has it for a week or a year. The fact that he ended Roman Reigns' title run, is that, that's all he has to say. I ended the longest title run ever. Or since the 80s, right? The fourth longest title run in history I ended. He never once has to worry about how long he has it, how many times he has it. Beating Roman Reigns like this is huge. If he beats him. So there's that to consider. There's so many punks. Uh, if Drew loses to Seth, Drew could turn his focus to Cody Rhodes. And they could have a feud with Drew McIntyre. I think Gunther is probably going to lose the Intercontinental title to Sammy. Gunther would be a great first opponent for him. Um, if the allegations against Brock get cleared up, uh, Brock Lesnar could be one of his opponents. I mean, basically, everybody can be an opponent. Randy Orton, LA Knight. Because usually after WrestleMania, don't they do the draft? I'm very curious if Cody will be drafted to Raw, and they'll put the big title on Raw, and then put that other title on SmackDown. Or the, who knows, they might unify the belts again now that we have a champion that's going to be there every single show. Because he said in the media scrum for WrestleMania, it literally just happened, the big WrestleMania thing he just had, that he's going to be on, if he's, if he's champion, he's going to be on both shows. So does that mean they're going to combine the belts by, like, let's say SummerSlam? I'm very curious how this goes. And, uh, the Rock said that if they win and Cody loses, he's going to get rid of that belt anyway, right? So there's so many different things that they could do with the storyline that it makes it exciting. Like, I want Cody to win, obviously, especially if he wins only night two. Like, if, if they lose night one, you add a mountain of stuff to the match, which makes it more exciting. So many things can happen for night two. And if you look at the match card for night two, it's pretty short compared to night one. I think it's only like six, seven matches. That's that's not a lot. They're probably going to give them a long, long time to do their stuff. Like I'm going to go out on a limb and say the last two hours to an hour could be that main event. <laughs> Especially if it's a Bloodline Rules match. I am so curious to see how this goes. Lucky for me, where I live, I believe it starts at... The pre-show starts at 2 o'clock where I'm at. So I actually stay up and watch the whole thing. Because so I, I couldn't get work off. Work was... Too many people ask for it off. And it's seniority based. Which is how it should be. Oh, man. Seth. Freak it. Here, let's see how... Whoa. Roman Reigns is pretty hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna put myself in the middle here so we can actually see what's going on. <laughs> Whoa, the action! Or it could just be like this. Oh, I'm floating around. Cool. So now we can see the whole thing. <laughs> nice. Let me see all the health bars. Three. There's a lighting. I feel like they should have automatic lighting because I had to change my arena around because there wasn't enough lighting for entrances. Like if you do an outdoor arena and you have a HD TV or whatever, a OLED TV, it gets pretty dark. Nice. Yeah, I really want Cody to win. I love The Rock. The Rock's awesome. I'm just excited that we're seeing The Rock wrestle the game. And I hope they set it up to where The Rock and Roman can face each other next year. So let's say The Rock loses the tag match tonight. Roman gets mad at me because he made it a 
he allowed it to happen, and it's a fair fight against Cody Rhodes, right? So night two, Roman's being a jerk to The Rock. The Rock finally has enough. The ref gets knocked out. The Rock, the Rock bottoms Roman Reigns, or or at least prevents any interference, and helps Cody win that way. Because if, if Cody, if Cody wins with help. And look, I feel like it'll kind of damage the victory for the babyface. Now, of course, the heel can get help because that's hard being heel. Uh, but for the babyface, if he gets help in any way versus like attacking Roman, it'll kind of belittle that that win a little, you know, a little bit. Like you didn't beat me clean, you had to have help. Roman could throw that in, in his face. Causes a little, like, eh, you know, you know how people are. Hey, you whiffed him. You whiffed him. Yeah, I really hope Seth gets a new gimmick. Hope he takes some time off, too, because the guy's been going, going, going. Man. I think if Roman loses, he's going to be gone probably until, I want to say, SummerSlam? Maybe WrestleMania? Maybe for good. Because it sounded like he was going to retire in 2020 during the pandemic but he came back to, and well it's a good thing he did because he's the longest reigning champion since Hulk Hogan or was it the fourth the fourth or fifth longest reigning champion and he's so close to beating that record there's so many variables like do we have because I think what was it September or August is when he'll beat Hogan's record if he keeps the belt. I don't know if the... I don't know, man. Will people still be interested? Oh, wow, he landed on his feet. Nice. I wonder when they'll release the arena for everybody. I wonder if it'll be next week. So they had to have the designs pretty early, right? Maybe it'll be the next couple days and we'll get an update. Like, next Tuesday... We'll get an update for 2K24, and we'll get the cool new arena. That'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. Man. I should have live streamed this. I don't live stream very often. But, uh, yeah. All right. And boom. I like how he's Mosey's on over to the rock. <laughs> Let me get you rock. Boom. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Come on, Seth, get him in the ring. And someone someone said, what if the match Cody versus Roman ends in a double count out, right? Or Roman gets counted out. So technically Cody wins, like his old man, but the belt gets taken away from him. So he still wins. He just doesn't get the belt. Fans would be pissed. <laughs> but it's is an it's another route that they could go to prolong the story. Because technically he didn't lose. He won. Uh, Roman couldn't beat the uh, the count. Right? Do you want to do a, a three match, three year build up to this? I don't know. I feel like WrestleMania 40, it's time. It's time. I know Roman's really close to beating Hogan's record, uh, but I don't think the fans are going to want to wait another year. Uh oh. Better get in there, Cody. You better get in there. He kicked out? Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> nice. Wow, they're all... All but Cody. All super red. Oh, big boot to the face. What was that? Was that a fan? <laughs> That's <was> funny. <laughs> oh, Cody. 
Who's the legal man? Cody? Or Seth? We're going on 20 minutes. Make sure this. In the Xbox, the stupid controller shuts off so much because I forgot to change it to. Uh, yeah, don't shut off. Play it on the PlayStation. I can't right now. So yeah, if you watched my last video, I purchased the figure two days early. Two days. Same month, but two days. And oh, you don't qualify. Sorry, invalid, invalid purchase time. It's two days. It's the same month. Just, ugh. and people are roasting me in the comments. You bought it early and you're complaining? Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Cody. Come on, beat the rock. You got this. Alright. Come reigns. It's weird that the computer, like, knows if they're going to kick out or not. I think they also changed it because the, in the last game, it, the second you, before you even pinned them, like, the second you activate the animation, they're in the rank kicking you already. Oh, wow. Hot tag. That's a cool little feature they need to add to tag matches. It's the hot tag. Like, like you come in hot. Kind of like the, uh, the comeback. Where it's the three sequences, boom, 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 and then a big move. I think they do that with hot tag. That'd be really cool. Like have it be like a special, a special moment in the ring that only happens once. Like you can activate one hot tag, where it does this cool animation, and they come in and they're like, oh, and they feed in, boom, one, two, three, and big move. I think that'd be kind of cool. I'm very ooh, I'm gonna laugh if he beats him with a roll-up pin. Oh, so close. So close. 23 minutes. Oh, tag him in. Is he gonna pin him? Oh. Crossroads. And see so, yeah. This match is going to go on forever. <laughs> Come on, man. You got this. Ooh, right in the bread basket. Come on, Seth. Oh, and a kick out. So at least they don't jump in the ring every single time. Only when they know you're about to lose. The tag matches still last way too long when you're... That's why I wish that... The special guest referee should be at least tag team matches too. Ooh. Uh-oh. Gonna get in there, Seth. Tribal Chief wins. That could happen. That could happen. Wow. Let me move myself again. Whoa. Yeah. That could be a very likely possibility. 
The Rock could also like steal a wing from Roman. Like Roman does the spear, and the Rock tags himself in and pins him. Like what? What? <laughs> nice. So there you have it. 2K24 says that Roman Reigns and The Rock are gonna win. Sound off in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Who do you think is gonna win? And stay frosted.